Near the end of practice set 1-3, you'll notice that the problems become a little bit more involved. We're still given a fraction, and we're supposed to create an equivalent fraction with the indicated denominator. In this case, we'll create two more fractions with different denominators. They will all be equivalent to 3 fourths, so we can say they're all equal. Let's break this into part A and part B, basically. I will start by writing 3 fourths with extra space. 4 times 2 gives me a denominator of 8. Do the same thing in the numerator. 3 times 2 is 6. And to see how many sixteenths is equivalent to 3 fourths, I start with my original, leave extra space. 4 times 4 gives me a denominator of 16. Same thing in the numerator, 3 times 4 is 12. So 3 fourths, 6 eighths, and 12 sixteenths are all equivalent fractions. I would like to illustrate this also using a number line. Let's say that I would like to measure the length of this blue object and I bring up a ruler representing one inch, which is typically divided into halves, quarters, and eighths. If I'm going to measure this object using quarters, I have one quarter, two quarters, three quarters. If instead I'd like to measure it using units of an eighth of an inch, I have one, two, three, four, five, six eighths. And if I'd like to do this using sixteenths of an inch, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve sixteenths. These are all measuring the same object, having the same length, but writing them with different denominators. And you'll see we got the same answers as we did using the um, algebraic or the <laughs> mathematical method.